Hey guys, it's your boy Denise here and welcome back to another scrap mechanic video. On my previous video, I've made a gas 53 truck with an additional piston engine which is pretty cool. It's fast, it can climb hills, steep hills pretty much, but you know, not that steep. In the east. Come on, but it's still made for hill climbing, right? Yeah, let's get on to the main video. So in this tutorial, as you guys can see in the title, um, I've, um, you know, we're gonna make a much smaller piston engine. So, as you guys can see, this is the normal piston engine I've created previously, and it's honestly quite big. You know, it wouldn't fit in, in, in any car that you have, which is bullshit. So, one, so I've actually gone to thinking I, I managed to make a much smaller version which is this one and they can pretty much spin the same speed and I actually kind of think that's what, that this one is much faster but this one is just an illusion they both spin at the same speed you know pretty much this one doesn't lose any speed you know compared to this one and this one you know I've put a wheel a wheel you know um, just to check if it's wobbling and this one isn't just kind of smooth though it's kind of wobbling just a little bit it but it's not that noticeable but this one as you guys can see it's wobbling and it's barely noticeable I mean no you can still notice that it's you know it's kind of wobbling and this one is very 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 reliable compared to this one you know it may be fast but this one is much small as fuck and yeah this one is inline for both engine have the same layouts to start off this tutorial you're gonna need a uh, a straight pipe um which is a normal pipe then we're gonna need a bend pipe then we're gonna need a t pipe a uh, thick pipe uh pretty much blocks you know which is whatever you want you can go ahead use wood or metal or concrete whatever you want a, a sensor um a logic gate we're gonna need that um then we're gonna need a six-way pipe a piston obviously a bearing obviously the bearing we're gonna need a, a switch a controller and the optional thing here is the screw which is on top of here um you know pretty much for design purposes so we're gonna be starting off this build not by using the lift instead by using a freaking block about three blocks wide here I'm gonna put a six-way pipe here I'm gonna wanna put a uh, bearing here you're always gonna wanna start with the crankshaft when pissing, when uh, building a piston engine I mean you're a menace to the society when you're you know doing the uh, manifold first rather than the crankshaft so we're, f we're starting off with the crankshaft uh, we're gonna be building the same thing as that to this and um, yeah, that's just in my period. Don't forget to add another cylinder. You know, I'm gonna put thing there. Uh, you know, a uh, normal pipe there. And you're gonna wanna put a bend pipe facing towards that direction. Then you're gonna wanna put a controller here, just like that. Like two controllers. So, but one is enough. But for me, two controllers maybe it's cool. So this both can match. You know, and you're gonna wanna <coughs> connect them like connect it to all bearings. Here and uh, on this one, two, three, four. Oh wait, uh, one, two, three. Gonna wanna put them about 120 degrees apart. Um, kind of missed there, but yeah. And um, since this is like kind of like spinning, it's because it's using this bearing right here. You're gonna wanna put them on the normal state, just like that. You're gonna wanna put the a bearing here. Pretty much just like a normal piston engine build, but but it's way much smaller. Then in this first one here, you're gonna wanna make sure that the uh, bend pipe is facing upwards, and make sure this one serious. And you don't wanna do, you don't wanna change the rotation here, and that too. Then you're gonna wanna remove this thing here. So you guys have been asking why I actually had to um you know start off with a block here instead of a lift. Well, it's because. You know, by using this layout here, I mean, no, that this, that this size here, it's kind of impossible to do. Like this, for example, when you start up a crankshaft, the T-pipe system, like that, that, like 
that and like that and band pipe well it's impossible to put a bearing in here either way the band pipe too so it's definitely not possible so you're gonna definitely want to start with a block you know so once you finish this you're gonna wanna remove the block and it uh, starts to have gravity and and like that so you're gonna wanna place the piston then don't forget to set the pistons about three range like that and like that oh I forgot about this and like that and you're gonna put a um, a pipe here and then a vent pipe facing towards this direction you're gonna put a bearing there and a normal pipe another bearing and this one you're gonna put a um, uh, a logic gate um, and the bearing and the, another bearing uh, a logic gate bearing logic gate bearing logic gate i'm gonna put the bearing and a normal pipe and another bearing uh, uh with a bent pipe facing um downwards and so in here you're gonna want to put a timing system and facing towards that direction just like the others um oh, uh, that's and you're gonna want to put a wedge and I also forgot about the wedge it's supposed to be on this list I mean it's optional but it's it can be whatever you want so we're gonna put the wedge here I mean we're only gonna need this, like four wedge and yeah and I'm gonna put a normal pipe here and before you put any of the blocks around here you're gonna wanna put them in color mode and to make sure that you remember the color the exact color that these have sets and the um, sensors otherwise you'd be thinking what the fuck is that color mode you know so you end up turning off the color mode well you still need color mode in this thing because it's important you know I'll explain later so you're gonna wanna put lock here around here and just to make sure not to place blocks by the um, by the uh, um, in this timing session and uh, just to make sure that you're not um, connected to this thing to the um, to this whatever timing system is um, by using the wall tool you're gonna make sure that they're not connected so we're gonna put a thick pipe here and another pipe here you can go ahead and connect it to a um, uh, you know a gearbox or a, um, a drive shaft or whatever you want then you're gonna want to connect the logic gate to the pistons and yeah don't forget about the switch too because you might accidentally um, put this off the lift and activating the pistons well well not technically but um yeah because they're not activated by the sensor yet but uh you know it's still quite risky because this will explode but to fix the exploding thing I'll explain later so just to make sure the um, logic gate system is and the gate which is why I didn't touch the logic gate once they placed it earlier and yeah and um, for this uh, switcher you're gonna want to connect them to all four of the um, logic gate system which why logic gate system is important in this thing and yeah this is pretty this is pretty much the switch to the um, piston engines and um, we're gonna wanna connect these sensors to the logic gate system. I mean, you can't connect connect the um, sensors to the lot to to the piston engine, pretty much. And if you know how the timing works, then you can connect this thing, the uh, sensors to the you know to the logic gates or pistons, whatever. I mean, you should know how to, because it's pretty much the advanced version of piston engine compared to those. I mean they're pretty much the same but this one is smaller but you should have the knowledge and how to use the timing correctly on this piston engines otherwise this wouldn't be working to end the path like that but we're but um, I show you exactly how I just did it right um, like a few moments ago and yeah we're, we're pretty much making an inline 4 here because this inline 4 here is quite big so I just you know it's like what I said earlier I um, remade it to make it much smaller and make it much fit for the uh, smaller cars that you guys have so once it is finished just um, make sure that uh, everything is good here and to finish this off we're gonna need to connect this one to prevent from this thing exploding and I'm 
you know, and I connect this all together like that. Then you're gonna need a welding tool just to make sure that they are all connected, just like that. And um, we should be finished. And to finish this off, we're gonna need to uh, do the timing system for this inline four specifically. So I know the timing for this uh, inline four because I've made this like uh, like uh, several times right now. So you know, I know I already know how it works. And we can now go ahead and um, um, put this on the ground because I know that this is already working. That so we're just gonna have to pull the switch and it's fast. It's actually as fast as this and the other inline four piston engine there. You know, so you guys can see it's pretty much the same. These are all the same. They spin at the same um, speed, the same direction either. And yeah, as an inline four, this is quite fast. I mean, it's 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 fast. So that, that, that's all we can say. But yeah, so and uh, by the way, the optional thing. You might be thinking right now is the screw um, we're gonna need to put it here just for design purposes I mean I've already told you guys before but you know I put this thing there on purpose and yeah this is just like that it spins very very fast and it and this this actually like a like a little chance to make it spin the uh, opposite direction but to prevent that we're gonna want to mess with the timing system here on this uh, thing here, which is the yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, you can go ahead and finish the touches by painting the entire engine here. And yeah, since we just painted this thing all, and it's the exact same thing as that right now, pretty much. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please, um, please leave a like if you find this video helpful. And if you guys have problems, make sure to, to leave a comment so I can either solve the problem or not. And yeah, see you guys on my next video. Peace.